Welcome back, my dear Lightbulls, to another anime-related discussion. In this one, I will be talking about the anime movie, A Silent Voice. So now, I don't really remember if I ever, ever talked about this on my channel before, but I do remember reading the manga uh, some years ago, and the manga was just absolutely brilliant. And when I heard that the film for A Silent Voice was coming out, or was out around the time... Oh, I did, I do a, I did do a full manga review. Okay, because I, I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm like, I know I talked about this on, on my channel before. So I did a manga review of it. And, you know, if you want to... it's I don't even know if the manga review is public. It, it is public. It must have been so many years ago I, I made this manga review. Because well, that's, be, that's besides the point. So I made the manga review five years ago. Five, five years ago. Okay. But let's talk about the anime movie. The anime film was brilliant. And I'm going to talk about some of the themes it tackled. One of them being friendship. So the theme of friendship was very important because in the first half of the film, you know, when we see the protagonist Ishida in sixth grade and stuff, is Ishida... Nishima, which uh, well, I'm just going to call her Shoko, that's her nickname, and uh, Ueno, and then some other of the classmates and stuff, and how they're having fun and stuff, Shoko transferred to the school, so she's a new student, transfer student, she is deaf, right, so, you know, she's deaf, basically, and it's very sad to see, which I'm going to talk about this a little bit more, but the friendship, basically, friendship in sense that Ishida had these friends in sixth grade and they slowly boom they betrayed him in an instant when he got in trouble for bullying Shoko which you know sometimes you're like oh these are friends for life but then sometimes they're like I'm not getting in trouble with this person so screw them they did that on their own however the thing is you know as a friend you should tell your friend you're going too far like, none of Ishida's friends said, you're going too far, dude, or relax with that. No. And, you know, and then the second half, friendship meant something else. Friendship was true friendship where Ishida became friends with Shoko, Shoko's sister, uh, the other guy, the other kid from his, his class, the one with the Mineta hair and stuff. I forgot his name. And uh, some other people, right? That was true friendship. So it was nice to see that even though he suffered, you know, Ishida suffered because he was in the wrong for bullying Shoko. He was in sixth grade. I know he's still a kid and stuff, but the constant bullying for no reason at all. It's not like he had a bad time at home, you know, or anything like that. It's not he was getting beaten or anything. like He was just bullying her because he's like, oh, this seems fun, basically. Is he? That's not the reason he gave, but that, that's what it seemed like to him. Because every time he took uh, her earpieces and stuff and threw them everywhere, broke them and stuff, he just didn't care. It's like he had no remorse for everything that he was doing until he got reprimanded and his friends threw him under the bus, saying it was all him. We, we even uh, one of the girls like we tried. I tried to stop and tried to tell him to stop. He was going too far, and then he became the one that was getting bullied so the target of bullying changed from shoko to himself and then even after all of that when he was in another school when he got older the girl is still was like oh you used to bully shoko right so all those years after sixth grade and onwards he literally felt like an outcast for the actions he did and because he started getting bullied his friends turned on him uh right away and he realized, you know, over time that he was wrong in bullying Shoko over time, over the years. And he even tried to, uh, what he did, make amends and stuff, apologize to her towards the end, even saved her life during the movie because Shoko was going to, you know, delete herself. Let's just call it that because YouTube, you know, some stuff you can't say. And he actually saved her life, but at the cost of him falling from a building into uh, water below and being in a comatose state. But 
He goes to show you that the wounds that you have when you're younger, and by the way, Shoko transferred schools because the bullying was getting out of hand as well, which is really messed up. So, and another person, Sahara-san, also transferred because she associated with Shoko and she couldn't take the teasing and stuff anymore from the students. So bullying was a very prevalent theme in this and how bullying is wrong. You shouldn't bully people because they're different from you. That is just messed up. And I really like that theme. That it was prevalent throughout the entire film. The voice acting was great in this movie. The story was great. And how a naive kid, a bully, got bullied and then, you know, realized the wrongs of his actions over time and and basically befriended the person he bullied, saved her life even. It it was very it was a very interesting cycle where it's like, look. You know, you shouldn't go down this path. You did wrong in the past, but that does not mean you have to keep doing wrong. You could say you're sorry. You know, the person is not going to forgive you all the time, but you could try to make amends and stuff. And that's what definitely Ishida did during the film. And there was points in the film you, you felt bad for Ishida, even though you remember, okay, he used to bully Shoko, but it's like, you made mistakes in the past like they're not gonna go away they're still gonna be there Ishida still was, was gonna feel guilty about it but you have to confront it and be like okay I was in the wrong I was wrong and that's another thing with this film it's like you know nobody's perfect you might have watched this film it's like oh Ishida is a douchebag he deserves to die or, or you know all this stuff but in reality the film shows you like you know, nobody is perfect. Everybody has done wrong, either small or big things, right? Uh, bullying is like it, it's big because it could um, it could c carry on on a person for the rest of their lives, and it definitely carried on with Shoko, where she just kept apologizing about everything because she felt she was in the wrong, even though she did nothing wrong. And I I believe. That uh, apologizing, that Shoko was apologized as well. Even with Ueno like slapping her and stuff, is because of the bullying in sixth grade and how she felt. Oh, why, what am I doing wrong? That basically I must be doing something wrong. That Ishida keeps doing this to me. And you know there was even a scene where Shoko says she loves Ishida, but Ishida interpreted it the wrong way. So she even through all of that, she still had a crush on Ishida, which is very interesting. And that's uh, the, I also like the scene where Ishida gave her her notebook from sixth grade that was thrown in the pond and stuff. It was a, just a great film overall. And now, if you watch all of this and you got spoiled on all of this and still gonna watch the film, definitely do. It's an amazing film. And my rating for this film, yes, it's a perfect score of a 10 out of 10. I really like the ending as well and i also like when you know the x marks on on people's faces were basically peeled away because ishida finally started to look up again instead of just looking down feeling sorry for himself so that's it for this one and peace